Here we see a uh, gum disease with uh, active uh, biofilm. We see many uh, bacteria, spirochetes, motile bacteria. And we see here two amoeba, uh, three, a third one, a small one. And they're going uh, up. They're just uh, traveling, uh, looking for uh, their prey. We see some white cells, some uh, denucleated white cells. Uh, which have uh, which have lost their nucleus again a lot of activity a lot of bacteria a lot of white cell a lot of uh, little amoeba some one or two or three uh, on a field so this is very active uh, periodontal disease um, yes here again some white cell some denucleated white cell, an amoeba, small one, large one, longer ones. All this is typical of a periodontal disease. So just uh, curatage or uh, uh, remove calculus is not sufficient to remove the disease because this really is an infection with protozoan, an infection with uh, parasites, Anthemoeba gingivalis, and bacteria. So this correlation is 100% uh, uh, correlation, correlate with uh, gum disease. Here we see a brush pattern with uh, actinomyces uh, filaments. Uh, those uh, amoeba usually like to stay uh, under the filaments. This is a well-organized system. So it is a little um, a little uh, incomprehensible that your dentist doesn't tell you uh, about this uh, infection because this clearly is uh, present in uh, uh, almost all periodontal active disease. You see enormous uh, amoeba, enormous uh, protozoa. They act like uh, larva uh, going everywhere and uh, very active. So we see here again a lot of uh, long filament active motile bacteria and you see uh, the parasite uh, s like s almost suctioning or uh, really in uh, activity with this those uh, bacteria so they live together this will probably form a future uh, calculus that will stay on the root and uh, this sure is not uh, it's nonsense to keep this in the to your gum and um, hope that you get well. You have to remove those uh, those things. So see the activity, see the white cell, see again the the long uh, filaments, and see the adherence, the activity of the amoeba, which is uh, very very uh, important here in this uh, area with the filaments. Also a lot of bacteria. Usually if you have only bacteria, there's not a lot of bone loss, but as long as you have the amoeba, uh, 